Hello, welcome back to Brains, Minds, Consciousness. Um, so today, I'm just going to give a little walkthrough of some ideas on how to find research articles because the task of this week or this day, uh, this session, we'll say, is to engage in a little bit of research. So the goal is for you to find some research article related to neuroimaging. And there, here's the assignment, which you'll, you'll find in the, in the uh, assignment section. Um, it looks long, but it, it, and it is, I mean, you, you, there is work involved, but uh, I think it's, it, it's straightforward when the way I've broken it down. So um, the goal here is you want to go and find some research articles related to neuroimaging, right? We, we spent a long while discussing all kinds of ins and outs of neuroimaging techniques, and I want you to go see how that lives in the real world. And then I want you to discuss it. Uh, we will be using Blackboard's, um, the discussion boards feature of, of Blackboard. Uh, and this is the video primer. So, but w what I want to focus on in this little video, um, we're not going to, I'm not going to go through the whole process. You know, it's going to take you some time to do all these steps. Uh, but what I want to focus on here is to go to, go find some papers, right? Um, real quick, here are the steps. You're going to find some papers. You're going to select three articles that you think are interesting just based on their title. We're not going to go, you know, you don't have to fully read all these articles. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you tips on how to read them in ways that are, you know, kind to your time as opposed to demanding full reads and popcorn reading of, you know, it's all too much. So find three papers based on their titles, read their abstracts, and then choose one paper that you want to read fully, that you really want to get to get to know more about. And again, the focus is on interest, right? What are you interested in from these papers? All while keeping in mind that we're looking for things that have uh, neuroimaging techniques involved. So then, so you'll choose one paper, uh, make sure to download it, which we'll, I'll show you a little bit about. Um, and then you're going to digest it. And that is normally people think of this as, oh, then I'll, I'll just start reading it front to back. But honestly, that's not the most efficient way to take in technical science writing. Um, you know, not every word is worth all of your attention. And holding yourself hostage to make sure you've read every single word of a paper isn't really good for you keeping focused on what you're interested in, right? So uh, here's the tips. You're going to read the title first. I know that sounds silly. Like, there's, oh, that's a step? It is a step. Because you're trying to engage with the highest level of abstraction. What is this paper about? Get the title, read the abstract, see what the author's short version of their paper is. Um, note of what you do and don't understand. Jump to the conclusions. You skip to the end because this helps you make notes of what the authors think the take home messages are. Um, and you might even move back into the discussion section because sometimes those are conflated. Um, then Scan through the figures and tables to see if now that you have a, an idea of what the paper's about, maybe what they're trying to show visually, because that's, that's a nice way to keep some things in mind. And then now you do your full read. You're going to be able to you know, absorb the highs and lows a lot better after that. And it's okay to skip. So you're, you're, not every word is worth all of your attention. And really what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the important bits that you are able to discuss even though you don't have like a depth of say neuroscience background to do so, right? You can still digest a paper even if you don't have all the details. So that's the key of this, of this assignment. Um, then you're gonna write up some response to this. Uh, so you'll give me the APA citations for the articles you selected. Uh, give me, tell me why you selected the one you did compared to the others. Um, summarize your article. Uh, summarize the brain imaging parts of the article, so how they, how they focus on the things we've discussed. Um, and then a few sentences just saying, like, what, what, did, what was your takeaway? What did you enjoy about the article? What was interesting? What was maybe too hard? What was, you know, everything. Anything that you want to say. 
Uh, we have a model here of what one of these little write-ups might look like. Again, you'll go to the course website and find all this. So finally, where, all the, where you'll submit all this is in the discussion board. So go to the discussion board on Blackboard um, at time of uh, making this video that doesn't, doesn't exist yet, but it, it will shortly. Um, so there are four possible points. Actually, there is a point of extra credit available. So here's, here's what you're going to do. First, you post the notes you wrote in this format as a top level post in the discussion board. This is basically the same idea as you, you submitting your responses through a different, you know, through an assignment, right? And I'll, I'll grade it for that. Then you're going to look at other people's posts and find one that you want to ask a question about, ask a genuine question about. Read through them, find the ones that interest you, just like you did with the articles, right? The whole point here is to focus on the things that you and others in, in the class are interested in and, you know, give it a shot. Give conversation a shot. Uh, so, finally, if someone finds your write-up interesting enough to ask a question, and that can include me, I will, I will be scanning these things now and then, uh, and if I ask a question, you can get an extra point by responding with your tick. So, yay. Um, now, a couple notes on this. Conversational tone is, is what you're aiming for here. I'm not asking you to write up a technical document. I'm not asking you to present at a conference here. In fact, I, I think that often stands in the way of your actual genuine understanding of a paper to try and get the, you know, oh, the scientific impressive sounding version of it. No, I want you to have a working understanding of it. I want you to be able to chat about it because that's how we can have a discussion about the topics in your papers rather than treating this as a, a formal presentation. So keep it conversational. Um, I'm really going to grade you on genuine effort, right? Uh, it, if it, it's pretty clear when you're actually engaged. So focus on things that engage you. Let your curiosity drive this whole thing. And also, finally, you are, you're only really on the hook to do each step once. So you only have to post one. I mean, that only makes sense, right? You only have to ask one question to get your full points, as long as it's, you know, a an, an question you actually care about. Um, and then there's only, you know, one response, right? Uh, you, you only have to give one response to get your full credit. If you want to keep responding and having conversation, you're totally welcome to. In fact, that can help others if you are genuinely interested in multiple papers, give them more things to respond to. Um, so, you know, very light in terms of the, the you know, I'm not demanding a, a, a tome on each of these things. I want you to chat with each other. And that's it. So that that's the focus is is you finding your own interests in the science and you know go go forth with your curiosity. Now, th what this video is about is how do we uh, on top of outlining this for you, uh, which you can read again. I, I recommend you do. It's also about how do we go about finding research articles. So uh, let's pop through these links. I'll open each one. I have a favorite, but you should know how the libraries work. So here's Penfield Library. Make it a little wider. Eh, actually, wider is a little worse. This is the primary place you, you can land at the Penfield Library. I actually prefer the second link to, to the main one because it has a little bit more access to our journals. Um, so the journals that, that I recommend as a starting point if you're going to do it from this direction is PsycInfo. And, and psych articles. So these are the, not, sorry, not journals, these are the databases that contain our access to the journals. So if we pop these open, oh, you're gonna have to log in, I believe. We'll, um, you can do that. I won't model this fully. I just want you to know this is where it happens. So if, if I am searching for research materials here, let's say dog fMRI, I wanna know what kind of studies have been done on dogs with fMRI. Um, so what do we have here? Neuroimage is the, oh, 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 nope, nope, nope. Too much, too quick, okay. Yeah, so this is a, an article that uses fMRI to ask a question about a particular kind of 
phenomenon in dog cognition. Um, that's available, right? That's what, that would be an article you could look into. What about um, animal AEG? And I, you don't have to focus on animal. How about um, children playing EEG? Is there anything about play? Mm, okay. Neuroelectrical response and in inequity in children. Okay, interesting. Evidence from the ultimatum game. What's the ultimatum game? You can find out, right? So this is just a, a quick scattered scan. You know, I'm, I'm just throwing things out as they come to mind uh, about what might be interesting to look into. Remember, the only thing really constraining your search is it has to include some of the, the techniques, the technology we've talked about. How about MEG? This might be a little harder. Less studies, hyperscanning, mother-child cerebral interactions. Interesting. So Frontiers in Human Neuroscience. Interesting journal. Uh, I've seen some of, some of their work before. So this, this works. The Oswego, oh, it has broken. Ooh, as right as I say it works, it breaks. That's fantastic. Uh, we'll just reload. So this is the, the SUNY library, the SUNY Oswego library um, system, their mechanism for, for finding articles. You can also use Google Scholar. And as long as you're logged in with your like campus credentials, I believe it will give you as much access as, as we have been granted. So let's say again, dog fMRI. Very quick, so you can see all the different um, articles we're getting already. It's also nice and highlighted. So, uh, voice sensitive regions in the dog and human brain are revealed by comparative fMRI. That actually sounds genuinely interesting, genuinely interesting to me. Um, but I'd have to figure out if I liked it based on what I saw. Oh, pupper. So, um, yeah. That's the idea. And, and really, it, it's as simple as which search system do you use. Remember to make sure to get, um, if you can, get the PDF. Uh, let's see if we can get that right here. Download this article. Are we good? Yes, we are. So this is absolutely a paid journal, but this is available online. So it doesn't have to be a super long paper. Um, it, you know, I'm not putting any page limits on it. Um, so, you know, go, go forth and, and find the things that genuinely interest you. And if one of you chooses to read this, that's, that's cool too. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah, so that's the idea. Um, yeah, make sure to get the, the oh, I should show the, the abstract. Oh, that. Let me reopen those tabs that I just closed. If you don't know how to do that, Command or Control Shift T. Very important tool for saving your life. Um, where did I go? Oh, I'm looking for the APA citation. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sure there's a quick link. Oh, every one of these websites is a little bit different. Science Direct, all this. But there is a... You gotta find... Get rights and content. Share site. There's the button. Site. Uh, export citation to text. Uh, well, let's open it. Ooh, doggy, that's a bit too much. But um, if you look up, oh, wow, this is a this is all the information you need. If you really get stuck, you can um, let's see, where's the what am I looking for? I am looking for APA citation generator. I'll add this to the so. What am I seeing here? Where's the... No, 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 no. Upgrade. Yuck. I just want... Maybe it's Scripper. I want a journal article. So you can search for it by the DOA number, which is the unique identifier of any one of these. But you can also just input the details that you, that you have available from the citations. I know, it's tedious work. Um, but this is actually a, a key technical part of making sure that when you talk about a paper, I know which exact one you're talking about. So use these kinds of tools. Uh, I'll include the best 
uh, APA constructor um, on the, I'll, I'll edit the page to show that. But yeah, so that's the, that's the gist of it. Um, I, I hope this ends up being interesting, sparking some interesting discussions among us. And uh, yeah, I will look forward to your submissions. Uh, yeah, so, all right. Thanks and take care.